Greetings to all of you today that are listening to this broadcast. It's great to come with you today and talk to you about the things of God. I want to talk about the Apostle Paul on Mars Hill. This was quite an episode in the life of the Apostle Paul. He was very dedicated to spread the message. He had been a lot of places. This has been on his second missionary journey. He came to a town that used to be a large, large place and very successful, but now they're under Roman rule, under the Roman Empire. Athens, Greece was a town of about 250,000 at that time. And Paul was greatly moved when he came into the city because it was overtaken by all idolatry of every kind. He could see idols everywhere, and even he said and mentioned in that 17th chapter, as I passed by, I could even see in verse 22 uh, inscriptions to the unknown God. So he met with, first of all, he met with the Jewish people in the synagogue and, and, and disputed with them, the Bible says. And then he met with some philosophers out in the place where we call Mars Hill. It was a very challenging time because he really uh, sought the Lord and he sought the Lord in such a way that he told people, that we are made by God and that, you know, everything we have is centered around God. And he said, you are, are way too religious and, and superstitious in your opinions. Uh, and he really, it was really quite a time for the Apostle Paul. I praise God that God laid his hand up on Paul to take the message. He went everywhere. He's to be accompanied by Timothy and Silas a little bit later on. But he goes it by himself here now in the 20... In the 17th chapter, in verse number 22, he said, I pretend that you're way too superstitious. And then he tells him that God made the world and everything that's in the world. He made the heaven, the earth. He dwelled not in, the, in temples that are made by hands. Neither is he worshiped with men's hands as though he needed anything, seeing that he gives life to all and breath and everything that we have in life. And then he goes on to say in verse number 28, for in him we live and move and we have our being. As certain also of your poets have said, for we also are his offspring. And this is a wonderful time of here where Paul is really bringing the message to the people in Athens, Greece. What a challenging thing it must be. I can just imagine myself going to a town like that and meeting with people in the synagogue and going out into the streets and preaching that message to people that had been just overtaken with idolatry and thank God for the message he brought. He did have a few converters. There wasn't many saved there, but I want to tell you we're still preaching about this message today because the great apostle Paul was anointed of God to go and take this message to people that he had never been around before. And it's a wonderful time that the Apostle Paul stood up and preached the reality of what God is all about. And you know, we get, we get it's through everything that we have. The world is created by God. We're living in a world today where it seems like everyone is, is talking about uh, making gods out of everything. You know, an idol can be something that you love more than you love God. It can be television, it can be sports, it can be some celebrity, it can be television, it can be something that you love more than God. And one thing that God had opposition to in the Old Testament especially, but in the New Testament all, there was idolatry that tried to come against the deity and royalty of God himself. And God is not going to be pleased with people that worship idols because there's only one God and he is the God of the heaven and earth. I want you to listen to this broadcast and take it seriously. There's a lot of uh, idolatry going in the world today. We don't realize how much is going on today. I just look into the Super Bowl and seeing how much stuff is dedicated and how people do that to, to just uh, make a living. Lots of money involved in the Super Bowl. And I'm not preaching against the Super Bowl, but if people love things more than they love God, then it's time to look at our devotion to God. You know, I thank God for Paul in this chapter. I would encourage you to read the 17th chapter thoroughly on Paul's message and ministry on Mars Hill. And just thank God that which through him we live and we move and we have our being. The poets had even said there, and he talked about their poets, 
how they even talk about uh, the things of God and, and the inscriptions about the false God, even worship an unknown God. We worship the God of heaven and earth. Thank God for him. I want to kneel down and I want to worship him with all of my heart. Thank you for listening to this broadcast today. This is Raymond Mayfield, and I'll be talking to you again real soon.